There we go. All right, and with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Amy. Thank you, Chelsea, thank you very much. So I have to do a couple of things. All right, I think that um, I have done, uh, worked a little magic um, to be able to uh, sh show you my slides. I will um, uh, say uh, so much thanks to division staff who through the years and all the years we've been doing division updates, um, have had lots of tech support as we have today in Chelsea and Katrina and others who were sort of helping to watch the chat and, and help with tech support. I'm going to advance my slides for the first time today. So um, I was busy playing with the gallery view as, as um, Chelsea was ex describing that um, and not paying attention to what I was supposed to be paying attention to. But anyway, now, well, now we're all here. So um, uh, I, and I'm thankful that you all are spending some time this afternoon with me on this division update. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. There we go. Um, just a big welcome uh, to all of you um, to the division update. We do this once a quarter. Um, and if you if you have joined the division update uh, in the past, you'll notice uh, quite a number of similarities. Um, and obviously always have some uh, different information. And I do, as Chelsea, I want to reiterate what Chelsea said, would love to answer your questions. I do have pulled up in front of me the questions that came in um, before uh, or during registration. So I'm going to answer those, but also be sure to put into the chat um, any questions that you have, or um, I suppose you could do something um, uh, uh, like r raising your hand and um, the, we will... Uh, well, Chelsea or Katrina or somebody will help me figure all of that out because, like, I'm I, I don't I don't know what that would look like, but I'd be more than happy to hear your voice. As always, when we're getting started with our division and update, I always want to you know check in, find out how how things are going. Um, if you'd be willing to use the chat to to share with the group something that you're celebrating, something that's happening that's really fabulous in your neck of the woods. Or um, if you're you know willing to share something that that is a challenge that maybe um, you would like some uh, you know sort of group think with your colleagues, um, we'd love to to hear that. Um, uh, just know that you know part of the reason that we get together once a quarter and and at other times is 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 to be support for one another and to be to cheer on the the exciting things that are happening across the state as well as to. Um, help to think creatively perhaps when um, something is uh, new and different uh, that's going on in, in, in a location. So just know that the division um, is here for you um, for all of those all of those purposes and as are all of your other great resources that you have at your fingertips like your um, your regional multi-type library cooperative, the Florida Library Association, um, your local uh, associations, library associations as well. They're all there uh, to support you um, and the work that you do every day. Um, so uh, just really glad that you're uh, spending some time with us this afternoon. So we'll dive right into uh, my slides for today. Um, gosh, we just finished legislative session. I know um, we just finished it like um, a little, a little more than a month ago. Um, and I'm already starting to think about um, upcoming legislative sessions. I'm certainly, always going to um, to uh, be thinking ahead of, with these dates for legislative session. Um, 2025 is an a, a, an odd numbered year, which means we go back to what is more traditional, although pretty soon the tradition will have changed, um, that March through May timeframe. Um, and then you can see there the the dates as we move uh, move forward with it sort of that, that every other year um, uh, you know, early session versus the uh, March through May session. So, um, wow, Marion County, awesome for getting that um, construction manager at risk uh, contract, wonderful. That will be something to definitely to celebrate having a, a new larger um, branch. How very exciting. Very, very exciting. Thank you for sharing that. So also uh, pretty traditionally as we start uh, these this our time together, I um, always like to think in terms of the, the yearly budget cycle. And so you can see here um, it on the slide, 
we have um, the, the, the General Appropriations Act was uh, passed by the Florida Le legislature um, uh, by March 8th. Actually, they passed it on March 8th, which was the last day of legislative session. I'm looking at my calendar, and yes, I did indeed get that uh, date correct. So we're sort of in between um, that March 8th timeframe and that July 1 timeframe. So we are waiting for the budget to be presented to the governor for um, his review and signature. Of course, one of the things that we know when we have this early session, like we're in right now, the um, the January through March, there's really sort of, if you will, a long time, air quotes there, I know you can't see, um, between when session ends and the start of the state fiscal year, which is July 1st. And so um, there can be quite a, a, a long bit of time in my in my uh, observation, between when session ends and when the budget is presented to the governor for uh, review and action. So we are waiting on that point. Um, is, I'm sure you all are seeing and hearing in the news that um, the governor is uh, uh, re reviewing uh, and approving uh, legislation or, or in uh, some cases not approving legislation, but that those bills are moving uh, to his desk, as they say. Um, for his actions um, as a result of the uh, legislative session. Um, so the, the budget bill or the General Appropriations Act, as it's uh, technically called, is yet one more of those bills that will, will move uh, to his desk for action. So one of the things we'll look at next together is sort of where we ended up at the end of legislative session. Um, and uh, you'll see it in on these next slides that the way I have the column named is, you know, it's the, the, uh, the, the, the approved um, by the Florida legislature, right? the House and the Senate approved the budget again. So it's not a final budget. It's just the, the budget that was approved by the House and Senate before they left um, for uh, and, and, and adjourned sine die. Um, so we do have uh, $2 million in the library cooperative grants, the $2.15 million in LSTA or the Library Services and Technology Act grant funds. Um, that's the, those federal funds that we get from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Um, we also ended the year uh, or ended the session, I should say better, with $17.3 million in state aid to libraries. Well, that is our recurring amount. And so that's the amount that's uh, there. Um, in public library construction, it is uh, what is in the budget approved by the House and Senate is $4.65 million. Um, and that is what they approved uh, from that House and Senate. They did not approve the full list, but they did approve um, a number of the projects on the list. Um, Career Online High School is not in the uh, budget approved by the House and Senate, so and that is represented um, on the slide for you as well. The, I've got a, a sort of a I guess a gray bar there because Career Online High School has not ever been in the Department of State's budget, but it's certainly something that, of course, that we all um, keep our eyes on, um, even though it's not uh, directly in the, de uh, the Department of State's budget. So that's a, an overview of funding by program. We'll now look um, sort of at uh, program by uh, program as well as the division as a whole. So you'll see there um, as approved by the legislature, um, about $38.9 million um, would be the overall funding appropriation from all three budget categories. And looking at some of our programs in particular, oops, I got two computers going, I need to, I need to click for it on both computer, sorry. Um, so the um, in our Library Services and Technology Act, or our LSTA federal funding, you can see there we do finally have, as, as many of you may may know, we have just very recently um, gotten a federal budget. And so we now have a federal allotment for the 24-25 year and $9.5 million is what uh, Florida is um, scheduled to receive. Um, the external awards um, per the uh, General Appropriations Act as passed by the House and Senate, that's at the level of $2.15 million. Um, and so we'll, um, you, what you'll see there, and I can kind of give you a little, I don't have exact specifics at this time, but I do anticipate that um, the division will request um, a little additional funds to go into that external awards um, category um, because the uh, 
federal allotment, the amount of funds we're getting from the federal government is more than was anticipated by the um, by the state budget. And so as soon as I'm able to um, totally center in on exactly how much um, there, there is an overage, um, then that will go into the 2.15 um, budget category, the $2.15 million budget category, which is the federal um, uh, grants category. So a um, little bit more to be coming about that as we move forward. Um, let's look at some of our other programs. So state aid to libraries is, um, that is not what was approved by the Florida legislature. I will just tell you all. So nobody has, I am so sorry. Uh, I, that is an incorrect slide. I don't think I can edit the slide as we are speaking, um, but I, when before this is sent out to everyone, I will correct that slide. The, the, what was approved by the Florida legislature is the 17.3, uh, or to be precise, $17,304,072. So it's exactly the same as 2324. Um, the number that you see on the slide there, which again, I am sorry, that is my error. I totally apologize. That was the amount that the governor um, had suggested. And so that was the governor's suggested amount for state aid to libraries. Um, the House and Senate did not... Uh, agree to what the governor suggested. Um, and so it is the House and Senate approved $17,304,072. And again, I apologize for that. Um, that is an incorrect figure on that slide. So let's move on. Sorry about that. I will get that corrected before it gets sent out. Um, this slide is correct. Um, library cooperative grant funding, um, the approved by the Florida legislature, $2 million. That is the recurring amount. Um, and many of you are all are aware that um, historically the $2 million has been what is allowed in um, by, under the, the capped amount that's allowed. Um, under Florida statute for this program, that uh, cap amount has been removed um, as of um, July 1, 2023. And so um, it's uh, very possible that we will see that there would be more funding going into the library cooperative grant uh, uh, project line in the budget um, in the future. So uh, just just know that that is uh, that is out there, but $2 million um, leaves us stable, which is awesome. Um, then let's look at the uh, public library construction grants um, funding history. So as I told you a few moments ago, um, we saw that on the earlier slide, um, $4.65 million is what is appropriated by the Florida legislature. That would fund nine projects. Um, so that is, again, not all the projects that were submitted to the division, but um, uh, that would it would fund uh, nine projects. So I'm going to take a uh, just a second here. I'm looking at my other screen, and it does. Um, I'm going to. So the question was, and I'm um, is what was the amount of funding for state aid to libraries this year? And that's for uh, this year would be three, 23, 24, and again that that 17.3 million dollars um, in the in the current year. FY2324 and the recommendation by the House and Senate um, uh, for state aid for 24-25 is also $17.3 million. So um, that's one of the questions that came in earlier. All right. And I suppose um, before we uh, move on, there was another question that sort of um, is a little bit of a nod to what happened in the Florida legislative um, sphere. Um, there was a question um, about the the law that was um, being debated in Georgia. Um, and in, in case you were not aware, the there was a, a a law that did not pass. Let me let me say it did the the law in Georgia did not pass. Um, their legislative session is over, and it did not pass in in this. Um, past legislative session for Georgia, um, but it did um, uh, disallow um, 
uh, funding for uh, the American Library Association and their state association and affiliates. It also uh, uh, took uh, the Georgia law proposed removing the accreditation standards for the two uh, library school programs in the state of Georgia. And that law did not pass. Um, the question that I was asked in the registrations um, it is, you know, is, is there any notice um, at, in Florida related to the laws that are going on and we're hearing about from across the country? And the answer to that is yes. Um, there is full awareness um, uh, about the laws and, and the various different laws that, uh, that are, are being considered across the country and in various states. Um, and, and certainly sort of what the outcome of those laws are. So yes, there is um, knowledge about the what's going on across the country related specifically to um, our National uh, Library Association as well as uh, the state as associations and affiliates where, where the laws also incorporate that. So that's answer to that question. Are there any other, I don't see anything coming in on the chat on my end. Are there any other questions sort of before we leave kind of the funding area or the DLIS funding area, I should say? Not seeing or hearing any right now. We'll go ahead and keep We'll keep moving forward, but just know that at any point you can uh, put your uh, um, your questions into the chat, um, uh, and or you know to me privately, to the tech team um, privately, or to the group. Um, so the question that just uh, came in: Are the anti ALA conversations gaining any traction? Uh, th that's a great question. I will say that I don't. I don't. I'm not privy to that or I'm not part of that so I am unaware um, if they are gaining traction or not I'm assuming that means uh, for here in Florida um, would be the, the logical uh, way that I would interpret that question and I I am not sure that that's um, I'm not sure at all um, the uh, it may be that um, that the um, Florida Library Association and their lobbyists, they, they might have a better sense of that um, because they directly, the lobbyists in particular, directly um, communicate with staff in the governor's office. I'm, I'm, I'm Amy Johnson here in the Division of Library Information Services. I am um, unaware. So uh, the, just the, where we are right now uh, related to my knowledge. But a, but a great question, and thank you for asking that. Um, the so sort of thinking about upcoming grant deadlines, um, we are in the process of uh, getting the the rule revised uh, to be able to issue our grant programs for this next fiscal year, which for us, of course, starts in July, and for for most of you, all starts in October. So um, know that our upcoming grant deadlines will be announced um, at some point in the future um, and the um, the grant uh, the rule revision process is is a public process where anyone can um, can watch the rule revision process as well as see the uh, the documents as they are uh, produced and being discussed so that that process has not started yet however uh, the division has um, completed the work uh, of of um, preparing for that process and we're in a review process right now prior to the uh, the official start of that rule process the um, I suppose the one thing that's um, of note is that the only grant deadline that is in law is the October 1st deadline for state aid. The other grant application deadlines are not specified in law and therefore they can um, float around um, as needed related to the rule revision process. And this happened last year and, and it's happening again this year where we're getting a later start than we would like. Um, however, um, we are working to uh, 
get that going so that we'll be in a good place to start the, the grant projects um, as quickly as possible. Um, obviously, we like to start them on July 1st, even though um, our grantees often don't um, aren't necessarily um, uh, as interested in that, but certainly to have them in place prior to the October 1 uh, fiscal year start for 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 you all locally so anyway all those things are are in play um let's talk about a few more um opportunities that are out there that um uh that okay so a good question thank you um the the hold up there is really it's just a review if you want to call it a hold up it's not it's a review process that um has to uh happen through the de department of state so it, we're just going through that review process. Um, there is the um, a, a couple of changes that um, are that have gone into effect with state law um, that are where we're having to change the the rule or the grant guidelines, other way to say it. And so we're just making sure that the language is the same across the whole Department of State and all the all the departments, grant programs, that sort of thing. So there, I I don't, I mean, I know it feels, it's got to feel like a hold up, but it's, there is not really a hold up per se on any given issue. It's just um, ironing out language related to some laws that took effect on July 1st. But great question. Great question. So thinking about some other funding opportunities that are out there, I always want to remind you about our friends at Florida Humanities and the, um, the programs that they have that are available to libraries of, 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 of all types. Um, they have an upcoming summer, early summer deadline for English for Families, um, a little later summer um, deadline for community project grants. And then there are two more that I want to remind you about. Their book festival grants and their Florida Talks um, grants are, do not have um, a deadline um, that's all based on when you're holding an event or would like to sponsor a, a, a speaker. So um, just never want, just always want to remind you about the, the great opportunities um, that are out there. Um, and certainly as we hear and learn about other grant opportunities, we send those out through email or in our building success newsletter. So we do our very best to keep you um, in the loop on anything that we learn about um, that might be of interest uh, to you all. When we're together, I love to remind you about our councils and boards. We do have a, a citizen support organization or our friends of the State Library and Archives of Florida. Um, and uh, they support division activities. Um, their next meeting is in June. Um, those are public meetings and um, you're more than welcome uh, to come to the Friends uh, Board meeting. Uh, we'll have a, a Friends Executive Board meeting in May. Um, that too is a public meeting. So uh, those uh, you're welcome to attend any of those meetings that you would like. Um, we also will have a State Library Council meeting um, sometime in the summer uh, as it relates to making uh, uh, the uh, recommendation for um, for the, the LSTA grant. So uh, they will come together at, at some point. We don't have that date because I need to get the, the grant application deadline and then we'll work on a date for that State Library Council meeting. So yes, and, and great. Thank you for calling out the photo. Of course, this is from Florida Memory. Um, they great photos, floridamemory.com. If you're not familiar with that, please uh, check out um, great uh, photos from all over the state um, that uh, you, you can use in any way you would like as well, presentations or, or anything else that you would like. They're out there for to share. So uh, since we were just talking about the Friends of the State Library and Archives of Florida, I do want to let you all know that um, we did a, our second um, call for research stipends. Um, and we did have eight people apply for research stipends. This allows payment, uh, a stipend payment of $1,000 total for um, any researcher that wants to come and use our collections here in Tallahassee. Um, and so this is the second round um, of 
or the second call for research stipend applications um, had eight applications and awarded two um, applications. So it's a, a, a great way to, to, to show the, the, the importance and the support of the, the um, Friends of the State Library and Archives of Florida um, and how they support the divisions program. So um, uh, great program and relatively new. It's only the second year that we've had our research stipends. And I'm sure probably many of you helped get the word out about our research stipends. And so for that, we appreciate that. you all for, for helping with that as well. So a couple of other um, things that I always like to remind you about when we're together. Um, there's uh, public libraries. You had a reporting deadline of um, April 15th, which is two, two days ago, uh, to report your January through March uh, voter registration forms that were um, dropped off at the library and delivered to your supervisor of elections. So just, I know there's been an email and we put it in the building success, but we just want you to always remember that um, that reporting time frame. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen there, the email address, um, that email address is um, where you send your report um, related to the, the voter applications that were uh, delivered to the library. So just always want to be in a, 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 a position where we're reminding you, we're very welcome. You're very welcome. We This, of course, is with our uh, sister division, the Division of Elections, and so we're happy to um, to uh, help them uh, remind you, or uh, anyway, I'm, that probably didn't say that exactly right. But anyway, we we figure it's it's very logical for us to send out reminders to libraries about this um, about this particular reporting requirement. So now I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about the statewide digital platform. Um, gosh, uh, you all have been hearing me talk about the statewide digital platform for a number of years. Um, and many of you are aware that we did um, go through a very lengthy um, um, invitation to negotiate process where we did um, select the vendor uh, Discovery Garden and um, we inked a contract with Discovery Garden uh, based on that ITN um, and all of which was to set in place this uh, uh, statewide digital platform. The um, so that that is all that all was the plan and went, moved forward at about this time last year. Um, one of we were in the midst of a legislative session and we were informed about a um, change to uh, the law that was meant that we needed to have a, a digital repository for uh, state reports. And, and specifically reports required by Florida statute. And so we did do a pivot um, to um, take the uh, platform and the, uh, the Discovery Garden uh, expertise in, um, uh, in, in their uh, ability to help us design the repository. And we have spent a year um, putting in place a system that answered the law, the change to law. And thank you uh, for putting that link to the, to the, uh, to that there um, in the, in the chat. So at this point, the, the, the great news, the super early great news is that division staff um, spearheaded by the Bureau of Library Network Services staff or our state library staff have really spent the better part of a year um, getting ready for this, the changes to the law. We had a November 1st deadline, we had a January 1st deadline, and we had an April 15th deadline. And I'm happy to tell you that we met all those deadlines. And um, the, the, uh, the repository is up and searchable and uh, they are, um, uh, you know, we, you can search our reports required by Florida statute uh, in in the uh, in the repository. So what that means, and I did have a question come in about this uh, prior to the session. Um, what this means is that we are now basically back to where we were when um, uh, you know uh, where we are getting ready to start work in earnest on the statewide digital platform, um, and so. 
um, on July 1st, when we start our second year with uh, under this contract, we will be developing the um, the basis for the uh, re repository where other collections can um, can um, be part of our platform. So, long story short, um, in, at the end of state year 24-25, so probably around this time next year, we will be um, past the point of announcing how libraries um, apply, if that's going to be the right words. I don't, uh, you know, how, how you make it known that you would like to um, uh, be part of that platform, you know, what your sort of, these are all my musings and my head, you know, sort of your, your readiness factors for being part of the, of the repository. So please know that that is still um, out there and is still coming. We were, um, uh, legislatively required to sort of uh, turn and do a little bit different uh, in, the, in the last year than our, was our original plan. Um, however, I will say that um, having put together the um, reports repository, we've learned a lot. And I think that we will um, have an even better product when we are um, working together with uh, folks who would like to um, have um, items in the repository um, that that we will have a we're, we're we're ahead of where we would be if we were just starting uh, this time last year so it's great stuff um, and and just know that that is continuing on and we're really excited when we hear like I did in the uh, in the registrations folks who were who are interested in our um, in our digital repository and and your participation and, and sort of bringing records, uh, bringing items uh, to to and, and use our uh, digital platform. So I'm excited about that and know that more is coming. Know that more is coming. So I do see there's a question in the um, uh, yes in the okay so in the chat. All right, good. So I'll, I'll call your attention to the to the what's in the chat um, about a free to low cost accounting software for friends. Um, and this is uh, from St. John's County. Uh, one of the branch libraries is preparing a new uh, facility, which is so exciting. Another new facility. Great, great news. Um, and they uh they're interested in uh, counting uh, software, and and they're. Uh, I hope you're you're keeping an eye on the chat. Um, our um, friends of the State Library and Archives of Florida, we buy um, through TechSoup as a nonprofit, and and that was just mentioned in the in the chat. Um, and we use um, oh Jiminy Christmas, I just I just went blank. But anyway, we buy uh, through TechSoup. Um, some accounting software that helps us with the budget. Um, and there might be somebody on who, who's listening who can, I think QuickBooks, it's QuickBooks, sorry. I just needed to um, to talk a little bit, but I think we buy QuickBooks through, uh, uh, I know we buy through TechSoup and I'm pretty sure the product we buy is QuickBooks. So that might be something to look at um, as, a, as an option. TechSoup has, if you're not familiar with TechSoup, and I'm, I'm not terribly familiar uh, with with TechSoup, but I, I do know that for a, a number of years, TechSoup has offered um, for libraries and nonprofits um, uh, very, very uh, good rates um, on uh, different uh, um, software and um, and other and other products and here's another great um another great suggestion with moneyminder.com and and some some clearly some knowledge about um about uh having looked at different um uh uh products that are out there so all great information um uh for your for your question there mary jane and for to help st john's county that's awesome 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 y'all keep that coming in the um chat if you've got other ideas about um, about products that could be used in St. John's County. All right, so we're gonna um, um, take a quick look at the time. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna um, 
talk about some other um, products and services for the, um, the from the division. Um, always like to highlight our statewide resource sharing. Um, Flynn share it um, that that we uh, we um, pay the 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 um, platform fees for lack of a better terminology that provides interlibrary loan. Um, capacity across the state, of course, partnered with our Florida Library Delivery Service um, as coordinated with our partner, the Tampa Bay Library Consortium. Um, so just, you know, um, great, great services. Hope you're tapped into one or both of these as you would um, like to be. Um, we, we certainly um, support resource sharing. Uh, Florida has always um, had a very robust uh, resource sharing a program. And so I think that continues today. And that of course is um it is robust and 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 um a, a very at a deep uh uh set of collections um because you all participate. And so for that we we are we are appreciative. Also like to remind you all when we're together about our table of content service. Um, please, uh, you can go to the, the link at the bottom of the page um, and you can uh, get to a form that will ask you what you would like to, um, which, uh, what, what you would like to see the table of contents for, which issues, for which periodicals. We're all library folks, so I can use the word periodicals. Um, and if, if you, whatever you pick, we will send you uh, the table of contents. You can let us know which, um, which uh, titles you're interested in, and we will send you the table of contents. So I'm happy to provide this service to folks um, the, the, uh, to uh, make things available that are useful to you for your work. Um, we also have some professional uh, uh, e-resources, so I hope um, that you're taking advantage of this if it's something that is um, uh, something that is useful to you. Um, any staff member of a public library, public school, or public academic library can get a state library card, and and with that state library card. Um, you can access any of the our electronic resources, and we do buy things. And thinking in particular of 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 uh, Florida Library staff as being um, one of our uh, one of our uh, uh, patron groups, one of our customers, uh, so sets of customers. And also uh, with that, we um, have uh, professional print materials that we purchase. Of course, it helps us since we operate a library in our archives, um, but it also, we, we um, know that these some of these titles may help you all as well. So know that these are available to you through Entry Library Loan um, and or any, uh, you know, the, the ways that libraries are good about sharing with each other, so. Um, always a reminder about the uh, the materials from the state library in particular. So let's talk a little bit about continuing education. Um, we've got lots of different um, opportunities for continuing education across the state. Um, we've got uh, you know our our partners, the multi type library cooperatives have have um, plenty of offerings both in person and virtual. Um, uh, we have records management seminars. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Um, we've got uh, Web Junction um, and Tech Talk, which is great. Uh, yes, and Brad, thank you. We've got the silly applications are going on right now. Tell all your friends and neighbors um, that uh, we're taking silly applications um, and until May 31st. And so please... Um, uh, uh, encourage folks to apply um, and we will be doing a call for mentors so if that is of interest to you to be a mentor we'd be more than happy to talk to you about that as well so lots of different forms of continuing education of course some specific things um, upcoming uh, I'll call your attention to um, sort of some things that we do um, sort of on a, on a periodic basis um, with our municipal public library directors um, conversations and the DLIS discussion, which is monthly. That's gonna be on partnerships, May 20th. Um, I, I also wanted, and I highlighted it in yellow so that I would remember to tell you um, that um, as of August the 8th, um, the division will be um, hosting um, a public library directors monthly virtual conversation. This will be, um, uh, by invitation to the public library director and um, the 
the um, that will be a monthly call, and that is in um, concert with the Florida Library Association. Um, they, they've been doing a monthly uh, call uh, through COVID, um, and that has been really, really wonderful. And then in a conversation, the, the decision was that the division would start um, hosting that in August. So wait, you'll, you'll see more coming about all of these things, of course, um, but and you'll certainly hear more about the monthly virtual uh, conversations as we move into the summertime. So great. And I did thank you for the call for the panhandle um, uh, silly cohort. Yes. Um, thank you for that reminder. That is great. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on the um, on the chat as well. So oops, sorry, wrong computer. All right. So um, thinking about um, our open registration webinar. So if you are in need of some records management training, you can sign up for one of our um, webinars. You can see there the upcoming dates and times. Um, the we Our records management staff are more than willing to um, to talk to people on the phone or to come and do a site visit or do training um, in your area for your organization. Um, any or all of those things are available. And sometime it, um, in the summer, after probably August, we'll also have the in-person records management seminars, which are day-long, six-hour in-person training um, for records management uh, training. So all of those are, are opportunities. Um, uh, right now, what we have available are the webinars, but we We'll be having the seminar series again um, in, in deeper into the summer. And let's see. So then uh, the next um, the next thing is to let you know about our next division update, which will be July eighteenth. That is um, uh, 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 mid summer, and of course, right after the start of our um, uh, the um, through this right after the start of our fiscal year. Sorry, my brain got sidetracked there. Um, so in uh, a good a good question in the in the chat, the um, the charge it, there is a charge to attend records management training. Yes. There is a charge. There's a small uh, charge for the webinars. There is a charge for the seminars. Yes. Um, and part of the reason for that charge is that that is um, the, those folks' salaries are part of a trust fund, and so we have to have money coming into the trust fund, so we charge for services like the records management training. If they come on site to do a site visit and consultation, um, then the it's, uh, it, it's a slightly different fee. Um, and, and, and to do a local presentation, again, there, there, there's a fee schedule for all of that. But yes, there is um, a fee for the records management training. And the in-person um, seminars will be, but there should be at least one in Tallahassee and there will be others throughout the state. So that is generally, I think there are six or eight generally every year of this six hour, the day long records management training, and they do, um, you know, they're in Southeast, Southwest, I mean, they're all over the state. So uh, I don't have a schedule for that yet, um, but um, we, we do cover the, um, we do cover that. Yeah. Great. Thank you, uh, Brenda, for, for adding that. Yes, yeah, so that's the charge for the um, open registration webinars. And, and great information there, uh, Regina, for your, uh, your the fine folks from Plan. That's great news. So, so we got an, our next update on July the eighteenth, and I suppose with that, and again, trying to look at my um, my uh, clock and everything, I, I am I can take any other questions that you might have. I don't have any other content for today. Um, but I'm happy to answer questions and I have scheduled to uh, spend until three o'clock with you all, my friends. And so I am, um, oh yeah, great question. And so I am right here um, and feel free to stay as, as long as you can. So a question has come in about the public library directors meeting. Um, and yes, and you have heard um, a great, uh, per, per, uh, and I think it's probably a little more than a rumor, uh, but okay, so let me let me answer question one first. So we're, the directors meeting is the um, Wednesday, December 11th. And uh, 
uh, through lunch on Thursday, December 12th. So the public library directors meeting Wednesday, December 11th and um, through uh, lunch on Thursday, December 12th. Um, and that will be uh, here in Tallahassee at the Turnbull Center at Florida State University. It's the place that we've used the last couple of years. We will have virtual um, attendance options for that meeting um, as we have in the past. And so that will, um, we'll, we'll be sure to to put information out about that, but those those are the actual dates. So this is a great question, but those are the actual dates. So it's already inked in with uh, the location on the 11th and the 12th. I have to keep turning my head and looking at that. And yes, um, I am so very excited about our keynote speaker. I don't have an inked contract yet, so I am um, uh, reluctant to talk about that um, because I don't want to jinx it, I guess, maybe more than anything. But but um, as soon as I have a signed contract, um, I will absolutely, we will be highlighting uh, the, uh, the, the, the keynote speaker. Um, I think you'll all be uh, pleased um, if um, the, the speaker is out of the country right now. And so it may be um, a couple more weeks before we actually have a signed contract. But everything in email thus far is absolutely um, all, a, all a go. So I'm very, very excited about that. So yes, thank you for asking that question. Um, mark your calendar for December 11th and the 12th, half day on the 12th. Um, and we will do the um, new director's orientation on the 10th, Tuesday the 10th. Um, so those are uh, those are all the dates for December. So great question, great question. And I cannot wait to, to share more details. So know that as soon as I can, I absolutely will. So what other, are there other questions? Sorry, I gotta, I'm using the cursor, I'm using the mouse for the wrong computer. Um, let me see what I can, yeah, there's. Any other questions that anybody might have? And if not, I will give you back 10 minutes of your day, but I'm also, I will be right here until three o'clock. Thank you, Hope. Glad you're here. I can see that people are popping off and that's awesome. Thank you all. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.